Good morning, friends. Today we are headed to a couple different Goodwill locations, and we are going to be looking for some vintage for my online vintage shop, leftcoastrevivals.com. I sell all of my vintage finds the first Friday of each month. Today we are also gonna be looking for some treasures for my own home because I decorate everything with secondhand finds. If you are new here, please subscribe to my newsletter on my website, leftcoastrevivals.com, and that will keep you up to date on all of the different sales I have going on, and also some very exciting upcoming travel events, and I will talk about that more at the end of today's episode. All right, let's hit the road and see what kind of treasures we can find. I thought that this candle holder was beautiful. It was only $2.99 and it is a Jewish Star of David and it's got two stars. And I actually have not looked at the symbolism of two stars versus one. So if any of you know that information, that would be wonderful to share that in the comments below. And if not, I'll try to do a pinned comment once I do a little bit more research on these. Beautiful design and I especially love when candle holders have mixed metal. When I pick up brass candle holders, I typically try to look for something that has a little bit more of a unique design or shape to them because I do come across brass candle holders all of the time. I thought the bases on these were very beautiful. Since I've gotten home from Europe, we have had so many projects that we are working on at the house. And one of the things we are the most excited about would be our tiki party. I wouldn't necessarily call it a project, but in the past we have been collecting things for our tiki party for years. And now we are finally in the stages of actually coordinating and planning it. It is happening in late August this year and you guys are all gonna be invited to join us virtually and it's gonna be a blast and we can't wait to share that fun with you. And all of these pieces are going to the Tiki Party stash I have up in my attic. But I am just determined to not buy anything new for that party if possible and for everything to be reusable so we can use them at the Tiki Parties for years to come. Look at how beautiful this is when the light hits the crystal. I love these candle holders. I don't pick up a lot of crystal pieces, but I really liked these. They are $4.99 and they were marked Czechoslovakian crystal. And I think that they are just absolutely gorgeous. You know what's funny? If you actually flip this upside down, there's quite a deep little hole here. I almost think you could put a little bit of water in there and have like a little tiny vase. I think that'd be really pretty too or you could even get one of those little round candles. I've used those before. Yeah, all kinds of options. Very pretty. I love the way that the light hits the crystal and they had no chips in them and they were only $4.99 each. I love this piece so much. It's screaming art deco to me. It's giant. I think it looks like it's got like a soccer ball or a baseball stuck to the bottom of it. It's just such a unique and interesting design and I really love anything that's got the fluted top on it. I think this piece was probably from around the 1940s and I think this was probably my best find of the day. It's absolutely beautiful and my sister just texted me that she has her blue hydrangeas in full bloom right now. So we are going to go over to my sister's as soon as we're done hauling in the car and I'm going to cut some blue hydrangeas and we are going to style this baby up.
couldn't help myself. This is something I would normally not pick up. I just thought it was really pretty. I'm really into animals and especially birds. And I just really liked this Mikasa piece. I've seen it before and I passed up on it. And I just, I don't know, today I just felt like getting it. Sometimes I crack myself up when I pick up something because I'm like, that's not something you would have bought three months ago. But you know, that's kind of what's fun about this industry is you're always picking up different pieces and you're always learning about new pieces. And I just think it's a really beautiful piece. And Mikasa makes really great quality pieces. So yeah, I picked up this glass double-headed swan bowl. I don't know why, but I did it. this close to being finished with our breezeway makeover. If you follow me on Instagram at left coast revivals, you know that I had quite an issue with one of the corners of our garage. So the entire thing was rotted out and we knew that when we purchased the home and we were prepared for the cost and the expense and everything. But what did surprise us was when we opened up the wall, there was the largest carpenter ant nest that our contractor had ever seen. So that freaked us out a little bit hashtag homeowner problems. Everything's fine, everything's fine. Little Italy is now completely properly supported. And again, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see a lot more of the behind the scenes of what's going on with that. With all of that said, the Breezeway makeover is almost completely finished. And I was really thrilled to find these hand-blown glasses because they're gonna go perfect with the decanters that I have found recently. Do any of you remember the hand-blown Ikea decanter that I found? This is almost the exact identical smoky glass color. There are only two of these cups, but I'm definitely gonna keep them because a lot of times it's just Jesse and I, and we're outside having a cocktail or a refreshing drink in our Breezeway. And I think that these will be perfect for that. Beautiful hand blown glass and they were only $1.99. Whenever I come across these little tiny stands that are perfect for little small framed art or picture frames, I always get them. And the reason why is because these are great for photographing vintage art. So if you have an online vintage shop, I highly recommend getting a few of these little stands because they come in handy when you are working on photographing pieces that maybe you just can't quite hold in your hand and you're reaching your arm out um, and they won't stay up on the wall and you don't want them to break and fall down, especially a beautiful round bowl. Something like this to set it on while you do the photography really elevates the photo. Look at how cute these are. They sit just a little bit wonky. I absolutely love that. There are some mid-century, I call them egg chairs. I don't know if that's what they're called, um, but there's some little chairs like this where you kind of climb in and you're like in this little space futuristic looking, you know, Jetsons chair. And these reminded me of that. They were only a dollar and it was nice to be able to find a little pair of them. Aren't they cute? I love critters and this is such a cute little vintage brass armadillo. It's so funny because I just recently got another one of these and I think that's kind of funny because I haven't seen a brass armadillo in over a year and then in the same week I find two of them. This one was a little bit spendy. He was $9.99 but these typically sell online for around $25 to $30 for the larger size pieces like this especially when they are a little bit unique and you don't see them every day. You really come across a lot of ducks and swans and even brass elephants, but I don't come across brass armadillos that often. I don't know if I would have known what these were had I not gone to France. I would have had to do a Google image search on why they had such tiny little holes. And yes, I ate escargot in Paris. And yes, I liked it. It was delicious. I did a little bit of research with these online and it does look like they are from France. The design on them and the painting on them really made me think they were probably from Portugal. They are very reminiscent of a lot of Mexican pottery, but the texture is just not quite right. So I don't know if these actually 
actually are French or not, but a lot of people online seem to refer to these as made in France. I'll keep doing some digging, and if any of you know for sure where these were made, please comment below and let me know. These were $3.99 each, and online, a lot of them sell for around $30 each, so not bad. And even though I'm not going to be keeping them, and maybe not everybody's into escargot, I did read that a lot of times these are also used for mushrooms. So I'll have to look up a recipe, maybe I'll give that a try on my cooking channel. By the way, can we just have a second to talk about my cooking channel? Here's what's going on with that. I am determined to wait until my kitchen is finished before I start filming my cooking vlogs. But it's becoming very hard to wait because it was supposed to be finished when we got back from Europe. We are still waiting on our custom made open shelving that we had done locally. Um, they were supposed to be finished by the end of March, I think. So everything is just taking a really long time to get right now. In the meantime, until I launch my cooking vlog channel, which will be a separate YouTube channel, you can follow me on Instagram because I have started posting some Instagram reels of the different recipes and dinners that I'm cooking at home. My Instagram handle is left.coast.kitchen and you guys can give me a follow there. And for right now, it's just gonna be the occasional recipes and meals that I'm cooking at home until we have the kitchen finished and I'm ready to finally launch that cooking channel. But I have been fine tuning my cooking skills in the kitchen and I can't wait to share more on that with you guys later. And I got the giant serving bowl with the small bowls with it. That's in the box, they're really big and heavy. So I'm not gonna pick those up, I don't wanna break them. We will take those and the rest of the stuff inside to get them washed up and ready to get photographed for my next shop set. If you're interested in any of these pieces or any of the pieces you have seen me find in episodes in the last few weeks, my next shop sale will be August 5th and the sale launches at 3 p.m. Pacific time. And I'm really excited about this sale because if you followed me for a long time, you know that I sell a lot of vintage jewelry. Well, this month it's gonna be very vintage heavy. There's gonna be lots of home decor, there's gonna be kitchen items, there's gonna be some amazing vases. I can't wait to share that collection with you. The sale launches August 5th at 3 p.m. Pacific time on my website, leftcoastrevivals.com. Now, do you wanna know why I am in such a good and giddy mood today? I mean, I'm always pretty goofy, but I feel like I'm being extra goofy today, and it's because I'm so dang excited about what you are about to watch. Getting the opportunity to plan this trip was really fun for me. In another life, for sure, I could be a travel agent. Um, sometimes I still think that I should be. And I saw a lot of comments of people saying that, wow, you planned that whole trip yourself. You should do tours. You should take some people to Europe. I have some very exciting news to share with you because that is actually going to happen. So here's what I can tell you right now. Jesse and I have done lots of talking about this and we know for sure that we would love to host a trip to Europe next spring. And we're gonna just start with that trip and see how things go. Obviously, the main thing we're gonna be doing is going to flea markets and trying to find treasures with you. I really want your feedback as to where in the world you would wanna go and what else you would wanna do other than thrifting and flea market shopping while you were there. We could do cooking classes. We could tour certain landmarks. We could go on hikes. There are endless options for what we can do. So I would be so grateful for some feedback from those of you who might be interested in joining us. It's gonna be an absolute blast. I seriously can't wait. Like I'm just getting so excited right now just thinking about it. Please take just a couple minutes and fill out that survey and let me know what you guys wanna do and where you wanna go. And make sure you subscribe to my newsletter on my website, leftcoastrevivals.com, because that is the first place that I'm gonna be sharing information and that is how I will keep you updated on progress on this trip. So right now I'm thinking May or June next spring. Let me know on the survey when you would be available to go and I can't wait to hear back from all of you. 